More tenderness. We want it. Nothing speaks to him. Zanzi more than a lekker braai and some rooster cook. Chef Clem is making a succulent char grilled Angus steak with red pepper, salsa, and rooster cook. This is exciting to me. This is a full circle moment because we're all about that steak. Yes. We are. Yes. And this man has taught me how to make a restaurant quality steak. So you know what's uh, going to happen? I'm not going to cook the steak. Yes. Let's, I'm this, ready. Just, I'm ready for just, you, just, man. I'm okay, ready Daniel's for you. It, it's wax on? Wax off. Wax off. Okay, you I got this. It. You got this. I okay. got this, man. No, I'm, and I'm ready to learn because I always learn. So every time we do something like this, I pick up another little game changer. And I'm, I'm not kidding, people. Listen to this man. Listen but you, with I, I, everything I, you can. But now I want you to tell the people what's happening. But again, okay, let me tell you what you're working with today. Okay. okay. I'm obsessed with the range of Angus steaks at Woody's, and it's 100% pure bread Angus, locally raised. The farmers are around the corner raising this amazing. These steaks are just mind blowing. They're done in the right way. The right way. The right way. What makes Angus special? Look at all that marbling, mm. right? And marbling is flavour. So Completely. handing this to you. Can you can you strip that guy open for me? Because one oh, thing of okay. one, yes, yes, yes. One, one thing hasn't happened here that you taught me that we wouldn't ordinarily do. So I would normally get my steaks out of the fridge. Yes. A good two hours before cook time. Yes. Kind of towel them off just a little bit, and get salt on those guys. So I don't salt have a tissue. Them. I don't have a tissue. Salt them. Salt them. Salt them. This is salt just them. a moment. Because you, you, it's absolutely vital. You it need is. that layer, that like kind of yes. that slick that forms. Um, even half an hour will give it, but like I'll give it about an hour out. I've even got a cover. I've even got a little cover that I put over the steaks so that the cat and no one else can get at my steaks while they're while I'm they're having there. such a proud moment. Yes, you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, yeah. so another thing, when you're seasoning your steak, use fine salt. Now's not the time for the fancy flaked the salt. On, yeah, you yeah. want to use your fine salt because the finer the salt, you're going to cover more of that steak, get that surface area going. Whereas if you're going to use flaked salt, you're going to have chunks here and here and there. Yeah. You want a nice even layer. You want that nice even um, seasoning on there. Ah, oh, gee, this is the one. Okay, so we're using sirloin. I was saying, I actually had the blade steak from Willie's last night, also mm. Angus beef. Oh my goodness! It's amazing. The fact that you can play around with steaks. I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know, I'm, how old am I now? But I'm guessing that one day when you went to the, to the store, when you wanted a steak, you only got one steak. Yeah. One cut, boom. But I, I was just like, rump, 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 rump. Um, that has changed. And now, dramatically. That has variety. Changed. The Look at the cut. Mm. Look at the, the thickness of these guys. Can I get it on? You can. So, you know what's going to happen? Okay. That's good. That's good. I like you see, got, the, got that nice heat. If you were someone that doesn't like the fat on your steak, here's what you do. You still cook your get steak. Get over it. You, just get over <laughs> just it. Get you over still it. cook your steak with the fat on and then trim the fat off afterwards mm, and give it to so you. You still the get the flavor rendering you want that flavor. off the fat for so if you, sure. So if you are going to eat that fat, what you do is you're going to sear your fat first. Start rendering out that fat. So it's not as chewy, not as like, I'm going to say pasty, because you know, cold fat. Yeah, no. ain't nobody got okay. time for that. So you hit it on the, on the fat side first, once you get the nice rendering. What actually, another thing happens, when you render out the fat in a steak, right, all that fat starts seeping out. Then when you turn your steak over, you actually cook the steak in its own fat. fat. Get out. Get out. Get out of So you here. see, this is also the pose. You gotta, see, you see what, what G's doing right now? Tongs at a almost 45 degree. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah there loose, we go. Loose and mind. other arm, just like, yeah? And then you gotta just 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 drop the right knee. Ah, oh, that's the G fry pose. That's the one. How you doing? Look at that. So another thing that people get wrong, they think, oh, I can only turn my steak over once. No. I'll generally turn it twice. Yeah. Like for me, that just works. Uh, I I mean, Hester Blumenthal turns his every thirty seconds. Exactly. So it's because again, because on a fatty piece of steak like this, you've got so much of that beautiful fat rendering out into your pan. That's what you're cooking it in, man. Exactly. So turn your Can steak. Can I give you a bit of space there? You're right. There we go. That's perfect. Turn your steak as much as you have to. Is that rule about turning it over once? Forget it. Okay. G, you're doing a good thing. I put the roasted cook on there, and we did some bread dough that we actually bought. Save yourself some time. You can make it, but just buy it if you want. Michaela's yeah, the man. baker. She's having a fat chat in the background there. She would probably make her own bread dough. Michaela, would you make your own bread dough? Come in here. Would 
Michaela? I don't know if you have a mic, you can just nod. Just nod. Would you make your own bread, though? You wouldn't, you would never buy it at the shop. Get out of here. Go, get, go, get out of here. Joking, kid. It's joking, it's joking. Get out of okay. here, kid. Buy from a bread store. Buy from a bread store. I'm telling you, especially if you're doing a Friday, focus on the meat and the side I'm gonna make. Get it from, get the, get the dough from the store. Okay, G, you're doing a good thing there. Now, what I've done is I've taken the pimento peppers, and I love pimento peppers. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at that. They are not spicy, but they've got this insane sweetness. It's like, yeah. it's like tomato -y, like almost like umami flavor. Sweetness and the freshness, but we're gonna actually add more flavor. We're gonna char them, and I'll char them. I just chuck it on the bry grid, let them get super black, turn it every now and then, and then put them in a bowl. Because you want the char, because that's what really want brings out the, the sweetness, yeah? It really does. Take, all you're gonna do is just rub off the black skin, and what you end up with is this beautiful flesh, and I've just chopped it up nice and lightly. Gee, the sounds that you're making oh, on a it's Thursday. It's looking beautiful. On a Thursday, friend. okay. It's looking beautiful. So, what I would ordinarily do at this stage with a, a nice thick cut like this, once you've got your char on the outside, I will pop it into the oven. Five minutes, 180 degrees, Absolutely. take it out, and then let him chill, let him rest. I'm gonna just give it a Perfect. little bit more. Oh, it's so good. Side. To the peppers, I've added some mint and some parsley. I'm gonna add some garlic. If you make this red pepper salsa ahead of time, better, because the flavors are time to get to know each other. It's like everybody gets into the hot tub, How's it? Yeah. How you doing? How's it going? Get to know each other, you know? The flavors come together. Let the flavors infuse. Infuse. Green chili. Green chili. And I put chili in almost everything. And this one works really well in there. Salt, very important. Pepper. Goodness gracious, this Olive is oil. looking beautiful, man. How are you doing with your roast cooks? Sorry, I forgot to say. Roast cooks don't take long. And it's, it's, it's Hey, hot hey. Already, eh? Look at that. Okay, roasted cooks done, steaks done. I'm gonna plate up. That, oh, that's, that's a good one. Your steak is, is ready for it's, you. It's looking beautiful. Buddy, so what I'm you wanna doing swing is... that plate over here? Oh, nice, G. Let me just pop this one here. There's your steak. This is, that, that one's for you to take home. You know, your little lunchtime oh, steak, okay? I love you, man, I love so, you. So, slice up your steak. Very important, you rest your steak. And I just wanna say, the color is everything in the steak. I mean, that pink rosiness, and obviously you can cook it more if you want to, but I love the color of the steak. Kelly cooked it. Ah. Kelly cooked this. Cows. Cows. You know what? Clem. Hey. 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 Beautiful. Okay, <laughs> salsa's looking amazing. A little bit of yogurt's great, because what I do is I cook my roasted cook on a, on a long, so you kind of tear, build up some lettuce leaves, some of the yogurt, some of the salsa on the steak, and kind of just like, you know? Who needs a fork? Oh, completely, no. yeah. No. We've actually, when we go the high protein thing, we'll get one massive steak and slice it up and share it between us and just right. eat it straight off the, the, the bry pan. <laughs> um, That's the way. Oh, that looks beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and, and it's a nice way, like when I say finishing it off in the, in the oven, it's a great way if you are helping you know, feeding different tastes. So someone likes it rare, someone likes it medium, whatever. Five minutes for medium, 10 minutes for well done. You know, it's a great way to kind of balance it out like that. I think this roast to cook is yes, ready. Sure. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. And we actually do this, like, it's pretty quick. The steak takes about six minutes. Yeah. Roast to cook, two minutes. The salsa, super quick. Make it the day before. This is how you do dinner on a Thursday to give you those weekend vibes. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Maybe my might use a Wednesday. different cut. Done. So impressed with these sirloin cuts. Angus beef at its best. If you want to find this recipe and this inspiration, go to wooers.co.za. What's your Instagram handle in case people have steak questions? Clement.pedro.mancrave. .mancrave. You are my mancrave. Stop mm. it. Stop it. Beautiful.